everybody was sort of, you know, really a stranger in a strange land, you know, uh, that's another one. That's I'll one. tell you a little story about Heinlein. Did you ever hear of Robert Moore Williams? No. Robert Moore Williams was a very prolific science fiction writer. He, he didn't appear in in uh, Stalming very much, but he was in most of the others. And uh, uh, he was a close friend of mine. I met him when I was in uh, living in Phoenix and had set up an auditing center. And uh, Robert Moore Williams was a close friend of, of Robert Heinlein. And uh, we were in. Uh, in Colorado Springs at the time, and uh, he wanted to know if if I was Robert Moore Williams wanted to know if I was a fan of science fiction. I said no, I never heard of it, although I've read science fiction since I was a young kid. He says, well, that's good because I want to take you over to to uh, spend the afternoon with with Robert Heinlein, and he doesn't like fans. Ah, <laughs> so we went over there. He was. Heinlein had a house up in the hills at the time. You could look out and sometimes see deer in his backyard and so on. We went in there and we talked all afternoon, the three of us. And among other things, Heinlein said, I'm working on a, a book right now. He says, have either one of you ever read a science fiction story with the Tarzan theme? And neither one of us had, so uh, that was all right with Heinlein. He went on and we talked about other things. So I waited and waited and waited for that book of Heinlein's to come out based on the Tarzan theme. Finally, Stranger in the Strange Land came out. Mm. I got halfway through it and I got pissed off and threw the book away. So I said, well, I shouldn't be like that. I went out and got another book and finished it. But that was his Tarzan theme, Stranger in the Strange Land. Oh, wow. I, that's not the way it should have been. It should have been something else. So. I sat, I sat down and wrote Spork of the Aeor, Aeor which is, got published in If magazine. And uh, that was my, my Tarzan theme. That's the way I thought he should have done it. Yours was Spark of the, what is it? Spork, what? Spork of the Aeor, S-P-O-R-K of the Aeor, A-Y-O-R. And uh, it obviously was not written as well as Heinlein because he was a master, but, and I was a beginner. But I wrote that because I was mad because he never came out with the one I wanted. <laughs> you wanted Tarzan, Tarzan, not... Yeah, uh, well, I wanted one that was written in his style. He changed his style at that point because of the hippie era. Mm -hmm. That was that book was oriented towards hippies. Yeah, Valentine Michael Smith. Who? That's the main character, Valentine I Michael don't Smith. That one. Well, it was big back when I, you know, again, and that's early 70s. Yeah. Uh, all Scientologists were like, you know, uh, using phrases from that book, yeah. and uh, he was sort of like a cult <laughs> hero within a cult, you could say. <laughs> I'll be darned. Yeah. Well, Heinlein was a smart dude, let me tell you. He, uh, when he traveled around the world, which he did a lot, he never sold himself. He, he talked to other people. He wanted to learn what they did and what they knew. And uh, he was able to translate that into his work. So obviously at that time, he was familiar with the hippie scene. He had talked to a lot of people, and so that came out. From then on, his style changed, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Heinlein was a remarkable writer. 